Hi guys, well today I will be doing this purple half cut crease look with the dark lip, a little too dramatic I guess you could say. Well, I start off by using this light purple as a transition color and just put it on top of my crease just blend it really well next I took this darker purple and put it on top of the transition color and also on the outer corner of my eye lid and just blend those two colors together Next, I took this navy blue with purple tones um, and put it on top of those two colors and also on the outer corner of my eyelid and blend those three colors together. Really Make sure you take your time in blending all these three colors together. You don't want any harsh lines showing. That doesn't look really pretty. <laughs> to cut my crease, I use this LA Girl Pro Concealer with this e.l.f. concealer brush and just cut my crease well just half of my crease this is actually like my first time like doing a look like this like a cut crease look I first tried it on the other eye and I liked how it came out so I was like why not film it It takes time and patience, so at first it will not come out perfect, but being my first time, I think I did pretty good. And on top of that, I used this baby pink color and applied it all over my eyelid. To set my eyeshadow, I use this Mario Badescu skincare rose butter and at the same time prime my face for my foundation. I think it smells amazing. For foundation I use this LA Girl Pro coverage and then just apply it on half of my face because like I said I already did my other half. Apply it with my fingers first and then just blend it all together with my sponge. Right here I'm cleaning out the edges with my foundation because your girl forgot to put some tape. But it's okay. I'm just not used to it. For my under eye circles, I use this yellow corrector from LA Girl as well. I just applied it under my eye. Just make like a triangle shape. And I do not know why I put that dot on my nose. I don't know what I was thinking. But oh well, I just blend it out. To set my under eye, I use this airspun translucent powder and just apply, apply it under my eye. Just blend it out. I don't usually bake. And then to set my whole face, I use this brush and I use translucent powder as well. And on the bottom lash line, I used all the three colors that I put on top so make sure you apply all three colors on the bottom make sure that when you're applying the colors on the bottom lash line you blend them and connect them with the top like I did right there just blend them really nice for eyeliner I use this elf 
liquid eyeliner and then just start by doing the line and then starting from the inner corner and connecting it with the line that I made first and then just fill it in If you want, I'll make a separate video explaining how to make a wing liner detail by detail. All you have to do is just give me a thumbs up or For the bottom lash line, I use this waterproof um, eyeliner from Rimmel London. Y'all, this is like the best, best drugstore waterproof eyeliner it never smudges it's like my top favorite i really really recommend this i'll list all the products in the description box so you can um so you'll know what i used if you're interested next i used this peachy shimmery color and applied it on my inner corner like as a highlight next I just curled my lashes which I don't know why because after that I just bronzed my face I bronzed my face with this elf bronzer I just apply it under my cheekbones To highlight my face, I use this liquid illuminator. Just apply it on my cheekbones and blend it in with my finger. I just tap it really nice. I don't like rub it in, I just tap it. And on top of that, I use uh, the Wet n Wild highlight. I like to use both because I like how it makes the highlight pop out. For eyelashes, I use this Ardell Wispy Lashes and for the glue, I used um, this, the Kiss Eyelash Glue. My first time trying this, um, this two products and I actually like them. I think the I don't know why I didn't record putting on mascara, but uh, before applying the lashes, I made sure I applied mascara on top and on the bottom. For the lip color, I use this LA Girl Dark Purple, I forgot the name, but like I said, I'll list all the products I uh, used in the description box so you can check them out but yeah I first started outlining my lips and then just filling them in to be honest I just used this um, liquid lipstick for this look but for me to wear it I wouldn't because it's not the color it's the it's the formula I guess I don't like how it makes my lips like super dry I mean, but if I ha had like an another lipstick this color I would wear it but since this is the only dark purple lipstick I have well I just used it for uh, to film this this look for y'all So this is the finished look. I am really in love of how it came out. Um, this look I was inspired by Daisy Marquez. She's a really great YouTuber. She's one of my favorites. Um, she inspires me so she inspires me a lot. And um, yeah, but except hers. She added glitter and I didn't want to add glitter 
I like how it turned out like this. And she also had a dark lip. You should check her out. Um, I'll put the link uh, in the description. And yeah, I hope you guys like it. And um, don't forget a thumbs up. If not, if you don't like it, thumbs down. It doesn't matter. Well, don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment. Share anything, all that, you know. You'll see me guys in the next video. Bye.